Next, 4,000 miles away in Kenya, we're on the trail of something rather more cumbersome. The hippopotamus. Hippos are the largest vegetarians on the planet, capable of munching through 50 kilograms of vegetation a day with relentless machine-like efficiency. It's a lot of food hoovered up by each animal. But scientists have recently discovered that hippos may well give back more to their environment than they take. If ever there was an animal with an image problem, it's these guys. They weigh the same as a family car, but come with the attitude of a 32-ton truck. The hippopotamus is renowned as the most dangerous animal in Africa. Today, conservationist Giles Clark has come to see the work of Dr. Doug McCauley. He's been studying these hippos for the past five years. People talk about hippos as being the most aggressive, most dangerous animals in Africa, but they really feel comfortable in the water. If they don't get in the water, they'll continue just to keep to themselves. But uh, if we come down on a boat right through here, it would be a pretty Different big mess. Different story, That's right, right, okay. Wow. It's always wise to keep a safe distance from hippos, especially because on land, they can run at 20 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There they go, Giles. That's your welcome here to the hippo pod. Such an incredible noise. It's communication. They're letting each other know that there's something strange here on the riverbank. They're communicating about threat right now, you and I. They're, uh, they're a little worried or one of... They've got nothing to worry about with us. <laughs> That's right. Well, not me anyway. There's an hippo over here doing the yawn display. But those yawns are not about waking up. The yawn-like behavior is designed to show everyone who's boss by displaying those imposing ivory tusks. The tusks are only used for fighting. As vegetarians who graze, the job of grinding up food falls to the huge molars at the back of their mouths. During the day, hippos seemingly do very little. But Doug's research is revealing that this is far from the case. Because while hippos wallow, they're actually playing a vital role in supporting the whole ecosystem. And it's all to do with eating. Hippos prefer to dine alone or in small groups, splitting from the main pod and traveling a short way down the river. There, they leave the water to graze on the food of choice, grass. But to avoid the heat of the strong African sun, their favorite time to dine is after dark. The plan is to observe what they get up to using a newly designed thermal camera that can film with no light. It can detect the heat from an animal's body up to six miles away, and it's something Doug has not been able to try before now. This tool is amazing. One of the reasons why there's just so little known about the hippo is because it's so hard to see them at night. You wouldn't want to be no. traipsing around in that scrubby vegetation at night looking for them. No. Whoa, 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 there, 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 there. Okay. Wow, look at them. Our thermal camera gives some revealing insight into their nighttime activities. Look how it lights up. Yeah. So it almost looks like she's blotchy there. Yeah. It sort of looks like camouflage almost, doesn't it? First time I've seen this in a thermal camera. The blotches are almost certainly thermal windows, flushed areas on the skin that allows them to cool down. Overheating can be a huge problem for hippos, especially when walking on land. But hippos are not the only diners around tonight. And spooked, the hippos demonstrate how quickly they can move when they need to. When things have calmed down an hour later, the camera finally picks up two hippos grazing amongst the trees. So hang on a minute, I think we have hippos here. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, wow, look. Their 60-centimeter-wide mouth 
gives them an ability to graze in a way that is very different from other herbivores. It's all lips. They're using those big horny lips to grab grass there from the end of the story, rip it as, see, as it, its head goes back yeah, and forth. Yeah, it goes backwards and forwards. Grabbing, plucking and pulling as the hippo sways its head back and forth, cutting that grass down like a, like a putting green in a golf course, right? The hippo's unique way of eating means they can consume huge amounts of grass in one night, five times what a cow would eat. It literally has his head down the whole time. These guys are like vampire lawnmower style. <laughs> so this is the hidden world of the hippo. Here we were just watching him sleep all day. Now, that, now the animals really actually come alive. Yeah. Right? The hippos feed for seven hours straight. And it's what happens next that makes them the unsung heroes of Africa. Because what goes in must come out. And this is what really gets Doug excited. Oh, watch, watch here. Boom! OK, see that shower of okay. dung? He really showers it. They have a very special way of spreading this dung far and wide. They wag their tails. And the males have a unique adaptation that gives this muck-spreading technique even more of a boost. Hippos have a backward-facing penis, probably the weirdest thing about the hippo, right? So this backward penis shoots this spray of urine up, and then he's got a loose, globby, gooey bit of dung shooting out of his rear. All of that gets mixed together with his paddle-like tail, and then it splatters everywhere. Doug has discovered that this unique behavior has widespread benefits to the environment. The dung is packed with nutrients that acts as a superfood for all life in and around the river. The dung becomes a really important stimulus of life almost, if you will, into this whole food web. You lock that piece in, and the stuff at the bottom begins to sort of work and grow, and then you have herbivores that are eating up the algae that grows in the river, and then fish eating these herbivores. Next thing you know, you have fish eagles swooping down, and catching and eating fish. So, so much of that life sort of springing forth from the back of the hippo. Thanks to Doug's research, we now know that hippos are not just takers. As nature's mobile muck spreaders, they give back, fertilizing the land and the rivers to produce food for fish and for insect larvae that live in the water, all of which in turn will become food for other animals up the food chain. They truly are a life force of Africa's rivers.